I have two videos that I have smushed together. The first is a man who is speaking about the men that women are seeing in his comment section that they find attractive. Whereas typically men keep thinking that Andrew Tate, for whatever reason, is somebody good to emulate. When this man is basically saying, listen to women, bro. This is what men, I mean, this is what they are saying that they want in a man. Now, please disregard the examples that he is using if they don't tickle your fancy. The examples are not important. The examples are what women are saying in his comment section. So that is what I am bringing out. And then following that, I have an article that um, from Psychology Today that I'm going over that is talking about the preferences um, in the minds of Ancilla sources and what women are saying that they want. So I have a man that is talking um, from the aspect of what women are saying. And then I have a Psychology Today article that I am bringing to light and you guys can find the article and examine it yourself. So please watch both of these. They are smushed together, um, but I really wanna hear your take on the back end. Y'all have a good one. Hold on, you just said something. Sometimes women obsess over celebrities. Right now it's Pedro Pascal. If you look at other comments from the video this is under, Women are listing tons of guys that they've obsessed over. Jack Black, Stanley Tucci, uh, Tom Hiddleston, Benedict Cumberbatch, BTS, uh, Garrus from Mass Effect, that he was in there. Women obsessing over these very kind people. Andrew Tate had incels in a frenzy. The alpha bros thinking that this dude is going to teach them how to get rich and get women. Meanwhile, women don't even like him. He was the most searched person online last year. And still no women obsessed over him. Quite the opposite. Women weren't even saying his name. He was like Voldemort. Women didn't want anything to do with him. The only people obsessing over him were dudes. Women considered liking Andrew Tate as a red flag. Like mentioning Andrew Tate on a first date was an easy way to guarantee you would not be getting a second date. And then that's the guy that dudes are like, yeah, I'm going to learn all I need to know about women from this guy. All he did was get arrested for allegedly sex trafficking. And you're still broke. And listen, I get wanting to have a role model. But out of all the guys to choose to be your male role model, why would you pick the one that women don't like? Like, if you need somebody to follow, follow the Pedro Pascals. Follow the Keanu Reeves. Psychology Today is staying on these involuntary syllabics or ancilla sources. It, it, they, they keep talking about them and they should because the psychology of these people should be, should be talked about, should be researched. But this um, article is called Inside the Mating Psychology of Ancilla Sources. You can look up the whole article if you want to as on psychology today, but the key points. And sources see many reasons for their singlehood, including social awkwardness, poor flirting skills, and not being good looking enough. Compared to non incel single men, they have a lower perceived mate value and a low and lower mate standards. And sources overestimate the importance of good looks and status to women and underestimate the, um, the importance of kindness and emotional stability. These are the errors in cross sex mind reading are not these errors in cross sex mind reading are not unique to incela sources, but they are exaggerated compared to non incels. Okay. In our most recent paper, we looked at the mating psychology of incels. There is a lot of media coverage and online discussion about what incels think and believe, but very little primary data that supports this. This is problematic because it allows misinformation and bias to penetrate the public, which could lead to erroneous views of this large group of men. Okay, so they recruited 150 um, self-identified incel sources, and they also had a sample of non-incels for this research. So for the research, they gave the incels 30, a list of 37 reasons of why they might be single so that they could, um, you know, describe why they think they're single. And the top three reasons picked by incels were not being good at flirting, being socially awkward, and not being good looking. Enough. I want to talk about this. Incels overestimate women's partner standards. 
In our study, we also recruited women to tell us what their minimum mate preferences were and asked incels to guess how they would respond. This is a form of cross-sex mind reading. And by looking at the differences between the mates mm -hmm. in the two, um, we were able to examine the mate preference gaps where incels and non-incels men, non-incel men got things wrong. I really wish that men would listen to women, but they don't. So maybe they'll listen to an article. They probably won't because this would require reading. Anyways, we found that incel men underestimate the importance of long-term relationship traits to women like kindness and emotional stability, while they overestimate the importance of physical attractiveness and social status, which are often emphasized as more important in short-term mating. But non-incel men made the exact same errors men just really think that women only want those two things women are saying we want someone that is kind and emotionally balanced listen to women i don't know if we'll ever get to a point where men listen to women but let's just give it a shot okay men <laughs>